Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back again with another game, Card and Dice Baseball, and this time it's going to be um, still advanced. I am going to do advanced from now on, as long as I don't run into any serious problems with it. Uh, I am still getting over a cold. I have a cough every now and then, so bear with me on that. But um, we are going to do a card and dice advanced baseball game between the um, Kansas City Monarchs and the Homestead Grays uh, from the um, from the Negro uh, B League or B set, the Negro League B set, and uh, <clears throat> the pitchers for today's game. For the Kansas City Monarchs will be Satchel Page, who actually did also pitch in the major leagues briefly at the end of his career. Um, and for the um, Homestead Grays, it's going to be Needle Nose Right. And uh, we're going to get into the game. I've got my scoreboard right here so you can follow along. I will write in the scores after each half inning. Uh, the lineup for the Kansas City Monarchs, who are batting first, will be Bill Sims playing left field, Newt Allen at third base, Ted Strong will be the right fielder, Willard Brown will be the center fielder, P. Green will be the catcher, Buck O'Neill at first base, very good defensive first baseman, uh, Bonnie Serrell will be the second baseman, Jesse Williams at short, and then, of course, Paige batting in the ninth spot. <coughs> um, now, what other housekeeping uh, items do I have to get out of the way here? Um, we're using the advanced game. Uh, I, I, haven't, I don't have a lot of experience playing the advanced game, so I may make some mistakes. Hopefully I don't. You can follow along with the scoreboard here. I think that covers everything, and so we will start the game with Bill Sims leading off for Kansas City against Needle Nose Right. And that is a 5-8. He is a lefty, um, and uh, that will be a ground ball to the second baseman X. The second baseman for Homestead is... Easterling, and he is a second base too, but anyway, we will find Easterly's card and take a look. 19 on a second base two. Ooh, it's a ground ball A, so that is an out. The next batter for Kansas City is Newt Allen. And that is a 7, 5, and 7. That's a strikeout. So Newt Allen strikes out. That'll be the first strikeout for Needle Nose Right. And Ted Strong is the third batter of the inning with two down. And that is a 1, 7. He is a... Uh, he is batting against a righty. So 1, 7 is a fly ball center field. So he flies out to uh, eight, and Kansas City gets no runs in the first inning. We go to the bottom of the first. And that will bring up the, uh, well, first of all, let's go over the lineup for Homestead. They will have Cool Papa Bell leading off and playing left field. Jerry Benjamin playing center field, batting second. Buck Leonard at first base. Josh Gibson, the catcher, batting in the cleanup spot. Howard Easterling, who just made that play to lead off the game, um, playing second base. Bankhead at shortstop. Judd Wilson at third. Victor Harris in right field. And then Needle Nose right. So Cool Papa Bell is leading off against Satchel Page. 
That is a 6-4. He is a switch hitter. And he is, uh, so he will be batting <coughs> lefty. So against a left-handed batter, 6-4 is a fly ball, center field X. And the center field, again, we have, we're going to have be slowed down by this. And he's a center field one. That is a 16. So we will flip, we'll look at the chart. Uh, center field one um, and a 16, and that is going to be a fly ball B. So he flies out, and that brings up Jerry Benjamin, and that is a 6 9. He is a switch hitter as well, so he is also batting left. And 6-9 is a ground ball shortstop X. And the shortstop for the um, Monarchs is a 1. And that is a 2. Roll of a 2. So we'll look at shortstop. 2 and a 1. That's a ground ball A. So that's going to be 6-3. to three. And that brings up Buck Leonard, I'll tell you right now, if we get a lot of X charts, this is going to be a very long game. 3-7, uh, he is a left-handed batter batting against a righty. So against a righty, 3-7 uh, is a fly ball right field. So he goes F9 and... No runs come in for the Homestead Grays in the first, and we have a 0-0 game going to the top of the second with Willard Brown up for Kansas City. I don't know what that was. It's a 2-10. He is a right-handed batter against a um, right-handed pitcher, and that's going to be a ground ball C, second base. So he goes out. Four to three. That brings up P. Green. And that is a six. Four and six. He is a right-handed batter. So uh, four and six is a triple one to three. And instead it's a single. So P. Green <coughs> has a single and that's going to be the first hit of the game. Needle nose right, giving up and a hit. Man aboard, one out. Buck O'Neill. He gets a 3 8 against a righty. That's going to be a fly ball left field. Two away. And that brings up Bonnie Sorrell. Two down man at first. 4 7. He is a lefty. And that's going to be a double one to eight. And so it is. It's a double. Second hit allowed by Needle Nose, right? And that brings up Jesse Williams. Two on. It's second and third. Two out. And that is a 6-3. He is a righty. And that's going to be a fly ball left field X. The left fielder for the um, for the monarchs is uh, is a three so we will uh, look at it let's see three and that's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in two runs Third hit allowed and two earned runs. And uh, that will bring up Satchel Page. And he gets a 310, which is going to be a walk. He is a number three, yeah, number three batter, and he gets a walk. And Needle Nose Right 
falling apart here quickly. Bill Sims is the batter, and he gets a 1-6 against a right-handed uh, pitcher, and that's going to be a ground ball A. Come up with two runs in the top of the second to take a 2-0 lead going into the bottom of the second inning with Homestead coming up to bat with the main man, Josh Gibson. And he gets a 310. He is a right handed batter uh, against a right handed pitcher. And that's going to be a walk. So Gibson works a walk. That's the first man allowed on by Page. And that brings up Howard Easterling. And he gets a 3 8 against a righty, and that's going to be a strikeout. First strikeout for Page on the day. Um, and that brings Judd Wilson to the, to the plate. One away. That is a 4-9. He is a lefty, so 4-9 is going to be a walk against a left-handed batter. Which uh, gives way, that was Bankhead. Wait a minute. It's Judd Wilson. Judd Wilson is up with two on and one man away. And that is a 6-5. He is a lefty, so against a left-handed uh, batter, that's going to be a strikeout. Judd Wilson goes down on strikes yeah and uh, that brings to the plate Victor Harris Victor Harris with two aboard two down and he gets a 2-8 against a right-handed uh, pitcher and that's going to be a ground ball second base A We go to the top of the third. Top of the third, Newt Allen is the batter for the um, for the Monarchs. He gets a two-six against a right-handed pitcher. That's going to be a walk. So now I'm starting to hit my. Uh, starting to hit it. Um, Needle nose right. That's a second walk allowed for him. Ted Strong comes up with a man on, no outs. That is a 2-8 against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball B. And so now Ted Strong is the man who is um, on, on base. And that brings up Willard Brown. And that's going to be a 2-10 against a right-handed pitcher. And that's going to be a ground ball second base C, which moves him to second base. And P. Green is the batter. And that's going to be a 1-5 against a righty. That's a walk. And that puts two guys on with two men out. And that's the third walk for Needle Nose Right, and Buck O'Neill is going to be the batter. And he gets a 1-8, and that's going to be big. That is going to be <coughs> uh, a double, and that'll knock in the runner on second. Fourth hit allowed and third run by Needle Nose Right and Bonnie Sorrell is up. And that's going to be a 1 3, which is going to be a single 1 to 11, and it is a single one base advance only, knocking in another run.
And there, there may be an early exit here for needle nose right. And um, Jesse Williams is the batter. Two down, so he can get out of the inning right now. But 4-7 against a righty is going to be a, a single double asterisk and knock in another run. Yeah, he's, uh, I don't think he's going to last beyond here. And that brings up, mercifully, it brings up Satchel Page. But he walked last time. Okay, 6-8 for a uh, right-handed batter. 6-8 is going to be a pop-out to shortstop. And so Page does get out. But uh, three more runs come in, and the score is now Monarchs 5, Homestead Grays. Um, Homestead Grays nothing. And now they are going to, uh, you know, just happens to be that the batter for the uh, Homestead Grays right now is Needle Nose Right, and they are going to pinch hit for him. Ray ba Brown will be the pinch hitter. He is a switch hitter batting against Satchel, Satchel Page. And that's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. He is batting lefty, so that's a strikeout. Ray Brown strikes out. And that will bring to the plate um, Cool Papa Bell, the leadoff batter for Homestead. One down. And he gets a 4-6, which is going to be... Uh, he is a switch hitter, so he's batting left. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. So, Cool Papa Bell with a single and that's the first hit allowed by Satchel Page. Jerry Benjamin is the batter. He gets a 6-6 six, six, and he is a switch hitter so he's batting uh, left and that's going to be a strikeout. Fourth strikeout for Satchel Page, and that brings to the plate Buck Leonard with one down and one on. No, wait, two down. Two down and one on. And he gets a 2-7, and he's batting against a right-handed pitcher, and that's going to be a walk to load. No, not to load the bases up. Runners at first and second. Second walk allowed by Page, and that brings Josh Gibson up, and right here, he could put them right back in this game. He gets a 3-8 against a right-handed pitcher, though, and that is going to be a strikeout. All right, the new pitcher for the Grays is going to be Eugene Jones. Now, he was, a, he was more of a reliever than a starter. I mean, there are guys who are on this roster who are better pitchers, much better pitchers, than Eugene Jones because Eugene Jones had in 19 this is the 1943 Homestead Grays he was six and four with a 511 earned run average uh, but he's more of a reliever than other guys on the team and I would rather go to somebody that was more of a reliever than another starter so Bill Sims is up I know that doesn't necessarily mean anything with the Negro Leagues because it could have been like that but 6-8 for Bill Sims. Um, he is a left-handed batter. So 6-8 against a lefty, that's going to be a single. Or wait a minute. 6-8. Yeah, that's going to be a single. So Bill Sims gets a hit. That is a hit allowed. First hit allowed by Jones on the first batter that he faces bringing up Newt Allen. 
And Newt Allen gets a 5-2. He is a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a walk. So, you know, like I said, he's not the best pitcher they've got. But... Ted Strong is up. He gets a 3-10. He is going up against a left-handed pitcher. And that's going to be a single to right field. Um, no, no, uh, there's no asterisks or non, you know, whatever. So I'm just going to let them, uh, hold up because I mean, they're, you know, no real reason, but, um, yeah, now they're, now Willard Brown is batting with no outs and the base is loaded. Not really what you want to see. He's their big home run hitter. 3-7, he's going up against a left-handed pitcher, and uh, that is going to be a single, one asterisk single, so they can only advance one base on that. Kansas City scoring another run, hit allowed, and another run allowed, and P. Green is the batter. And that is a 3-8. He is going up against a lefty, and that's a fly ball center field B. Um, and so that will score the runner from third, one away. But at least it's an out. Right now, Homestead would be just happy to see an out. Uh, Buck O'Neill is the batter. That is a 3-6 against a lefty, and that's going to be a fly ball B, two away. And uh, Bonnie Sorrell is up. And he gets a 6-9. He is a left-handed batter against a left-handed pitcher, and that is going to be a... Um, it's an it's a home run, but it's a ball. Is it a ballpark home run? No, it's a ballpark or it's a home run if he has normal power, um, which he does not from the um, against a left-handed pitcher. Um, so it's an out, but it's an out anyway because it's a split where it's a fly ball right field B. So he flew out to right field. <clears throat> And, uh, but the, the Monarchs ended up getting two more runs, and now they have a commanding uh, seven to nothing lead. And Howard Easterling will be the uh, batter here in the fourth, in the bottom of the fourth, for Homestead against um, Satchel Page, who shows no signs of slowing down yet. Uh, two six. He is a switch hitter, so he is batting um, left. Two six is going to be a. Uh, wait a minute. Against a. No, against a right-handed batter. So it's a strikeout. So Easterling strikes out. Page with the K. That's number six on the day. Sam Bankhead is up. That is a 6'11", and he is batting. He's a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a fly ball right field X. Um, the right fielder is a 1. And so it's a fly ball B. All of that just to get a fly ball B. So Bankhead <coughs> flies out to... Um, flies out to right field, so that's an F9, and then um, Judd Wilson is the batter. And I think that's two down, right? Yep. And he gets a 6 5, he's a left handed batter, and that's going to be a strikeout. Yet another strikeout for Page. Seven on the day, no runs come across, and uh, yeah, no runs come across for 
Homestead in the fourth, and we go to the top of the fifth inning. Top of the fifth, and Jesse Williams, I believe, is the batter. Yes, he is. And that's a 1-5. He's a righty going up against a left-handed pitcher. That's a single. That brings up um, Satchel Page. They're gonna sac They're just gonna sacrifice with Satchel Page up. That is a six. Batter is thrown out by the first baseman. Runners advance one base. So he does advance him to second. Which brings up. Bill Sims again. Top back to the top of the order with a man at second and one out. That's a 4-10. He's a left-handed batter. That's going to be a um in a ballpark single and a ball and a ballpark single for um the Homestead Grays home park is one to six, and that's a 17, so it isn't. It's going to be an out. And that brings up Newt Allen. Man at second, two away. And it's a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven against a... Um, against a left-handed... Uh, oh, wait. Against a left-hand... Or a right-handed batter. is going to be an out. It's a ground ball, third base. So Newt Allen goes 5-3. to three, And no runs come across in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the sixth with Victor Harris, the batter. And um, yeah, Victor Harris is the batter for Homestead. And that is a 3-9. He's a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Their shortstop is a 1-1. That's a 19, probably going to be an out, but let me check it. And it is. So he goes out 6-3. to three, And that brings up the pitcher. Um, they are going to pinch hit for him, though, because he's not really that good anyway. Joe Spencer will be the new batter. He gets a 3-6. He's a right-handed uh, batter. 3-6 is going to be a um, ground ball shortstop. So he goes 6-3 to three as well. And that brings up Cool Papa Bell, the leadoff batter with two down. And he gets a 2-12 against a right-handed uh, pitcher, and that's going to be a ground ball A plus injury. The injury is a three, so he remains in the game. But he was out. No runs coming across for Homestead in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth inning. And that means we need another pitcher for Homestead. And we are going to bring in a guy who was did a lot of starting. That's going to be Silent Roy Partlow. And he will be the new pitcher for Homestead. Um, and the Homestead, or, and the, um, the batter for Kansas City is going to be Ted Strong. And he gets a 1-6. He is a switch hitter, so he is batting right. And, um, well, I guess it doesn't matter, but anyway, against the left-hander. That's going to be a fly ball center field. Ted Strong flies out. One down. Willard Brown's up. He gets a 4-9. 4-9, uh, he is a right-handed uh, batter, and he gets a ground ball third base. He's out 5-3. to three. Partlow gets the first two batters that he faces very quickly. And I have to write his name in here. The 
let's see. I think he went, I don't know. Anyway, T Green is up and he gets a 1 6. And against the left handed, uh, against the left handed pitcher, that's a walk. Yeah. So P Green walks. And Buck O'Neill is the batter. And he gets a 5-6 against the left-hander. That's going to be a single-double asterisk and move the runner over to third. And all of a sudden, they could probably score again here. Bonnie Sorrell is the batter. And he gets a 1-7, and against a left-handed pitcher, that is going to be a single double asterisk, and it does knock in another run. And really, Homestead is unsurprising, or is surprisingly terrible here. Um, and that brings up Jesse Williams is the batter. And that is a 3-8. 3-8 is um, against a against a lefty. That's going to be a home run. That is a home run. It's a home run 1-3 to three or a fly ball and it is a home run 3 run shot. So Partlow was supposedly a better pitcher but um, than, than Jones, but not really, turns out. And that brings up Satchel Page. And he gets a 3-10, which is a walk. Satchel Page walks for the second time in the game. I mean, they can't catch it. Really, Homestead cannot catch a break here. And that brings up Bill Sims. And he gets a 4-6. He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a fly ball center field. We're going to half innings. It is Kansas City uh, 11. Homestead nothing. And Homestead will be bringing up Jerry Benjamin to bat against Satchel Page. Uh, that is a 1-6. He is going to be batting uh, left. So, or I guess it doesn't matter if it's on his card. 1-6 uh, against a righty. And that's going to be a single. Benjamin gets a hit. They're happy to see it. They'll take whatever they can get right now. I mean, that's only, according to my records, that's only the second hit given up by Satchel Page, and it looks like that is the case. Buck Leonard is the new batter with a man on, no outs. That is a 5-6. He is batting, he's a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. Page with his eighth strikeout, and Josh Gibson is up. If they ever needed a home run, it would be right now. He's batting right against a, uh, well, yeah, 6 7. He is a right handed batter, and that is going to be a pop out to shortstop. Which brings up Easterling. Two down, man on. 2-6 uh, against a right-handed pitcher is a strikeout. And that's just the ninth strikeout for Page. I don't know why we would think he was doing great. Um, let's see, what was that? Completed the bottom of the sixth. So we're going to the top of the seventh. We'll see if this changes. This number could be higher than zero. But um, Kansas City is batting in the seventh now, I think. Newt Allen is the batter. And he gets a 2-7. <coughs> uh, 
against a left-handed pitcher, that is going to be a single. Partlow giving up another hit. Four hits allowed for him already in just his second inning, I think. Ted Strong is up. That is a 5-2-5. Five, five. Um, he is batting, um, well, it doesn't really matter. He's going up against a left-hander, and that is going to be a single. It's a single one to three, and it's a three. They really are just not having any good luck at all here. And so this number might actually change. Uh, Willard Brown is up. He gets a 4-3. Um, he is batting right. And that's going to be a fly ball right field X. The right fielder for Homestead is a 4. That uh, is going to be a fly ball A. All right. Fly ball A, though, moves runners to second and third. And that brings up P. Green. And that is a 6-8. Six, 6-8, eight. Six, eight. he is a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. So that's, that's two down, I believe, is it? Yeah. Part low with his first strikeout, and then Buck O'Neill is the batter. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. <coughs> um, he's a right-handed batter, and that's a double 1-6, to six, so that's really a single. It's a single double asterisk and knocks in two runs. It doesn't really, <coughs> it doesn't really matter who the pitcher is. It's really, I mean, this is crazy. And then Bonnie Sorrell is the batter. And he gets a 111 against a left-hander. Yeah. And that's going to be a ground ball C. Mercifully, that is the last out. But they did get two more runs here. So that zero becomes a two, and we go to the bottom of the seventh. And Sam Bankhead is the batter. And he gets a 6-5. He is a righty. 6-5 is going to be a strikeout. Bankhead strikes out. Tenth strikeout for Satchel Page. Judd Wilson is up, 6-6. Six, six. He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. 11th strikeout for Satchel Page. And Victor Harris. Victor Harris gets a 2-8. Against a righty, ground ball, second base, A. 4-3. Score it four to three and no runs come in for Homestead in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Jesse Williams is the batter. And that is a two seven against a lefty and that's gonna be a ground ball short. One away. The pitcher is up, that's Satchel Page. He gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball, second base A. And Bill Sims comes up, and he gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a left-handed batter. And uh, that is going to be a double. Every time they, they get something with a split, it's the highest thing that they can get. I mean, it's just the craziest thing I've ever seen. That gives way to New Down. Man on, two out. Man on second, two out. 5-10. Uh, he is a righty. Um, 
and that's going to be a ground ball third base X. The third baseman for Homestead is a five, and that is a 17. So we'll see what happens on that. Third base, 17, and a five. That's a double, two asterisks, and a run scores. Just when you thought maybe they would get out of this inning without a run scoring, or did you think that? <laughs> Ted Strong is up, and that is a 4-11. He is a switch hitter, so he is batting uh, right, and that is going to be a ground ball A. Ground ball, ground ball shortstop. So that is, yeah. Or no, line out to shortstop. Line out to shortstop. He's out. And uh, and actually, one run did come in. One run came in for the Grays there. Or for the Monarchs, sorry. And that brings us to the bottom of the eighth with Joe Spencer, the batter. Joe Spencer against Satchel Page. Or no, no, Spencer is not the batter. It's the pitcher. And I'm not going to bother to replace him because right now, I mean, the score is, what, 7, 11, 13, 14, nothing. They're not going to, they don't even 1-7, that's a strikeout, so the pitcher strikes out. Cool Papa Bell is up. That is a 3-6, and uh, he is a switch hitter, so he is batting right. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter. It's, it's, he's batting against a left-handed pitcher. So, see, this is why, this is why I play the, uh, the, um, the basic game most of the time. So anyway, he gets a single. And that's only the third hit given up by Page. Jerry Benjamin's up, set 4-7. <coughs> uh, he is a switch hitter, so he's batting left. And that is actually a single double asterisk. So they've got, finally they have something going, but I think it's a little late to get something going. Fourth hit allowed by Page. Um, and there is one out. And um, that brings up Buck Leonard. He gets a 2-3. That's against a right-handed batter. That's a ground ball C, second base C. Run comes home, two away. And that's their first run of the game. And Josh Gibson is up. And a 111, that is going to be a ballpark single, and it is. It's one to six. So he does have he does get the single. Fifth hit allowed by uh, Satchel Page might be tiring a little bit here with Easterling, the batter, and he gets a 5-9. He's a switch hitter, so he's batting left, and that is a strikeout. Just when you thought he was tiring a little, he gets his 12th strikeout, and I believe that is it, right? No, that's two outs. That's I've got it as two outs, so... No, Buck Leonard did get out. Buck Leonard grounded a run, uh, a run home. So uh, that is it. But Homestead gets their first run. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Kansas City is up with Willard Brown batting. Willard Brown had 25 home runs in uh, 1942. 25 home runs and 27 doubles in 559 at, at bats. He gets a five. He gets a 311 against a left-handed pitcher. That's a walk. P. 
Green gets a four, three, and four against a left-hander. That is a pop-out to shortstop. Buck O'Neill, one out, one on. That is a 5-8. He is batting right. That is a ground ball second base. The second baseman for uh, Homestead is a 2. And that is an 11. 11. Okay, so we have to look at his rating. Um, he is an E13. So let's see if I can find the E13. It would be helpful if these were in order. So anyway, that is a, that's an 11. And it's an E1. Now, I'm also not sure if I'm supposed to roll the 20 cider again, but I'm not. So it is going to be an error. And, uh, Buck O'Neill is, or no, Sorrell. Sorrell is the batter. And that is a 210. Uh, he's batting against a lefty, and that's a walk to load the bases up. I'm telling you, this is cra the craziest thing I've ever seen. There's no way Homestead was really this bad. I mean, I would think it, they weren't, but. And Jesse Williams is the batter. And that is a 2-4 against a lefty. It is a ballpark single, but it isn't because it's an 8. So it is an out. Mercifully, they go out here in the top of the ninth without scoring a run. But they have, let's see, 3, 5, 7, um, 11, 13, 14. They have 14 runs. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that um, Homestead is not going to get 13 runs right here in the bottom of the ninth. Off of Satchel Page, who's been great today. Sam Bankhead is the batter. He gets a 5-8, and he is batting right. And that's a ground ball second base. The second baseman is a 2 that is a six, and that is an out. Judd Wilson is the batter. Five nine. Um, he is batting left, so that is going to be a strikeout. That's strikeout number 13 for Paige. And that brings to the plate Victor Harris. That's a 7-1-7 seven, seven against a righty, and that is going to be a single. And unfortunately, that brings up the pitcher, who I do have to pinch hit for because it would be irresponsible not to do that. Lick Carlisle is going to be the batter. And he gets a 6-9. He's a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball short. The shortstop, of course, it has to be that. 19, but he's a 1. He's a shortstop 1. And that is going to be an out. And so that is your final score. The Kansas City Monarchs incredibly beat the Homestead Grays by the score of 14 to 1. An incredible game, and let me just get that in there so you can see that, the final score. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.